Just so Austin. Um, anyway, the first one is Cooper's Pit Barbecue. That's calling my name tonight. 
and then there are a couple others we'll see if I can squeeze in while I'm here. But man, I'm excited to try some authentic Austin barbecue. Well, I found Cooper's. Here we are. Barbecue sauce. Got some pinto beans right here with bacon. Bacon jalapeno macaroni. And just a pile of meat here. Oh yeah. That's brisket, baby. This place is amazing. Now, I'm pretty sure Mandy would not approve of the following. Sorry, babe. When in Austin, do as Austin Purs do. Do as the Austins do. Anyway, it's good. And this bread with parquet. Is it butter? The parquet something. Parquet squeeze. So good. Lathered up. Alright, so I couldn't even finish the whole meal. And that's just like the regular things. I prepaid for pecan pie and ice cream. Oh my heavens. Look, I'm opening my I'm opening my ice cream right now. It comes in a little package. Vanilla bean. Look at that. Check out the slice of pie that I got. Yeah, it's like, it's massive. It's, it's huge. Um, it's gonna be fun to try. There's a little bit of ice cream on there. Shut the front door. This is so fetching good. All right, all right. So that was pretty much amazing. Uh, yeah, I smoke a pretty mean brisket, you know? I do uh, apple juice and brown sugar on top and a real sweet barbecue sauce. This was way different. This is by far the best brisket I've ever had. It was just, there was spice behind it and it was real tangy, the barbecue sauce. There was nothing sweet about it. I absolutely loved it, it was so tender. And as far as mac and cheese goes, easily one of my top three. Up there would be the fried mac and cheese from Cheesecake Factory, but this thing was amazing. Bacon, jalapenos, in the top three. The pecan pie, I'm not gonna say if it's better than my wife's or my grandma's, cause you know, they both watched this. It was so dang good. So Austin has like a way cool vibe to it. I'm totally digging it. I just wish you were here with me, Mandy. We'd have so much fun together. Probably wouldn't be walking down alleys, but I'm I'm good doing that by myself because I'm hood rat and I like to do hood rat things. Finally made it to the Crown Plaza. Here we go. Crown Plaza. Alright, so I was driving around Austin. I was getting close to a Voodoo Donuts. And I've never been, I've heard amazing things. I believe it's like a west, northwest coast type thing. But they've got one out here in Austin, so they've got to hit it up. Anyway, I have no idea what to get. I hear they have tons of crazy donuts. And uh, anyway, I jumped on Instagram Live, which I really haven't used more than maybe once before. Just hoping that maybe someone would jump on who's been. And sure enough, my sister-in-law jumped on, thanks Lib. And she said, I've totally been there. She told me I needed to get one with cereal on it, I guess. And uh, <clears throat> there it is. And uh, there's a peanut butter one that's really good. I'm thinking I might just have to buy a dozen and uh, take some home to the kiddos. So honestly, 
Honestly guys, I have no idea where I'm gonna fit this huge box of donuts. I just have a carry-on, that's it. And it's jam-packed, because I always buy gifts for my kids and my wife when I go out of town on a business trip like this. I always come back with something in hand. Uh, I got those, and uh, so my bag's packed. How am I gonna fit these? I have no idea. But that's kind of how I live life. Yeah, I gotta show you something hilarious. So we're above the equator, right? What does that mean as far as the toilet spins? This way or this way? Never seen a toilet like this. All right, ready for this? Let's see. I'm checking out in just a minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right out. doesn't open till four for a few hours so so I really want to go there it's called the Russian house how'd I miss the memo on the segways that'd be awesome all right behind me is a statue of Angelina Everly so this is a lady who lived in Austin in 1842 Texas was its own nation and Austin was the capital the president of Texas Sam Houston Felt like Austin was not a great location, uh, maybe a little vulnerable, and so he actually wanted to move the capital of the country to his own namesake city, Houston. Well, he did it, he first made an attempt through a campaign which was unsuccessful. When that didn't work, he actually sent some military troops to come down and obtain all of the government files and, and basically take all the paperwork and everything that would be needed to move it to Houston. Well, Angelina, this lady, she saw it being done, and on 6th and Congress, which is the corner that I'm on over here, uh, she lit a cannon that blew a hole through some important office building, kind of roused all the citizens. They chased the military down, got the records back, and it is for that reason that Austin, today, is still the capital of Texas as opposed to Houston being the capital of Texas. Isn't that crazy? bunch of stuff I've never heard of because it's like authentic Russian food but I'm choosing between the homemade Russian helmeni and the shashlik there's also a pork schnitzel um, but anyway it's hilarious so Julia my server she is Russian she has an awesome accent she offered to bring out my voluntary shot and I was like my shot and she's like yes and she's like your shot of vodka <laughs> I'm like oh no I don't drink and she's like okay I'll bring out something else it's some concoction, but it's supposed to be non-alcoholic. This drink is a berry drink called Morris, M-O-R-S, not Morris, like my last name. It's like super delicious. Oh, thank you. All right, so they just brought out my meal. Let's kill her. type stuff. Just dip your meat in it. Ooh, that's smoking on top. That is so tender and so flavorful. Oh my heavens. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. You like it? Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, thank you. So this is shashlik, and I've got a hot sauce type stuff that I'm putting on it. And uh, it's so incredibly tender and flavorful. It's delicious, and you can make shashlik with different meats. I went with the lamb, and I am not regretting that decision whatsoever. Can you hear this music? It's like way authentic music. 
I don't think I can even get in trouble for copyright. That squash is amazing. I'm kind of sad about the fact that I only got one squash. There's one squash on here and one bell pepper. I wish I could eat more of that squash. That was way yum. A little flatbread thing here. Cheers. Russian food. That was my first time ever. So I don't have any kind of uh, baseline, you know, to compare it against. But what I can tell you was my taste buds are on fire right now. If uh, I had to rate it, the whole restaurant experience, my server was amazing. Uh, on a scale of one to five, I'd give it a flipping ten because it was just that good. So uh, if you're in Austin, man, the two places I tried that were more like sit-down restaurants, Cooper's, and Russian house, do it, it's so good. This has been the story of my uh, last three days here in Austin. Every time you wanna get on or get off the freeway or try and get somewhere, you do this really weird loop yeah, around the freeway route, and it's not like a normal circular ramp. Like, there are frontage roads all along the I-35, like everywhere. So you get off and you ride the frontage road up and then you might do a loop and ride the frontage road back it's really pretty crazy. All right, so I got both my bags flagged for whatever reason. Now they're gonna check the second one. <laughs> So I'm not usually a label reader, that's actually Mandy's job, but uh, I don't know if tonight I'm reading labels and then cracking up here. So this is a sparkling blackberry, and it's actually sparkling water and then just a bunch of juice concentrates, like no extra sugar added and whatnot. So that's good. It does say that it's not a low calorie item, but here's where I really get a crack out of this. So uh, calories per serving is 90, and you can see above that there are two serving sizes in, uh, in this bottle. So two servings per container, at 90 each, right? Do the math, and if you drink the whole bottle, you're only drinking 170 calories. How sweet is that? Sleeping. Babies are sleeping. Until next time, keep dreaming. Bye.